There are some big movers going on in the Pokemon market from the single cards. Some have been going right up. Some have been falling like absolute flies. But today we're going to be seeing what these cards are and what these crazy prices are going for. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're going to be taking a look again at some big market movers. Now, there have been some cards that have been going really high up and there have been some that have been crashing like crazy like i mean really crazy so we're taking a look at tcg player we're going to see some big high climbers and we're going to see some ones that have been falling we'll be looking at skull and violet era sword and shield and sun and moon at a load of different cards let's get into it all right starting things off we have the lily full art this is from ultra prism this is the big waifu card <laughs> coming in big market mover this one already expensive card and we can see on here look at this for 340 dollars and three months ago it was 280 files up i mean you know, English full art trainers, they don't usually go for this much. You know, we've seen it with like the Miriams and things like that. But the Lily, going real strong from Ultra Prism. Ultra Prism is not a cheap set. You know, booster boxes are quite expensive, not easy to get hold of, especially here in the UK. From the Sun and Moon era, we go back six months and we can see this card has just been keep going, right? 250 went up $90 or over $90 in the past six months. And we go back a year before we it dipped to as low as 220 and then bang, so basically $120 this card has just been climbing like absolutely crazy before we know it, it will be $400 um you know for this in English is really impressive you know it is really impressive would I pick this up I mean <laughs> probably not because it's so expensive however you know, you're looking at nearly it's getting to nearly the price of an ultra prison booster box like that's how crazy this card is so maybe maybe but this is still a really big climber speaking of another big climber of course we have the flaming chicken KFC coming in blazer kim vmax from chill and rain $200 nearly, one nine three. Oh baby, this is just absolutely gone crazy, crazy. So that's in the past three months, it's gone from one six four to 200, to nearly 200. So it is probably now, maybe the fourth, probably the fourth, yeah, I think it's the fourth most expensive OR from the Sword and Shield era. That is bonkers, that is absolutely bonkers. So we go to back six months and we've seen what, 147, get yeah, up to that one nine. 191193. We go back a year. I mean, if you pick this card for under hundred dollars, you're doing incredible because it's basically doubled in value. Big movement. Big movement from Chin and Rain. Chin and Rain getting a bit hard to get hold of. You know, booster boxes going up in price, poor rates are really, really bad. So putting this big flaming chicken is a big hit. So, you know, would I pick this up? Probably. I would. You know, if I can get a good quality, you know, good condition one, I would. You know, I think this is a brilliant card. Okay, now we've got a card that's been falling like crazy. We have the Miriam. Of course, from Scarlet and Violet. Now, there's a lot of Scarlet and Violet base set going around at the moment. Second wave is about to hit or has hit. And prices are continuing to fall across the board for this set. I mean, pretty much every single card has dropped. So we go back a month to get a real good indication of what's been going on. Don't forget, this set is so new. I mean, the pre-order prices was just... <laughs> they were... They were hoping that people were going to be stupid enough to pay the price. But, you know, it has been dropping. So I would say maybe it came out around 83. Let's be realistic. And since then, it has dropped now to 63. And I would expect this to continue uh, to drop probably to as low as 50. You, know, you go back to Sword and Shield Base, the money Full Art is around 50 to $55. Personally, I don't think that Full Art Trainers are great to be the best cards to pull in a set. I still think it should be Pokemon, in my opinion. But, you know... Miriam, you know, uh, it is dropping. You know, Scarlet and Violet, pull rates seem to be pretty good. Like, the number of hits you get per box or, you know, in the packs. I haven't pulled it myself. You know, don't want to get a master set, but, you know, it is falling. But I do expect it probably to sell around 50. Okay, we've got another big climber. This one's from Unbroken Bonds. This is a gorgeous card. I really want this in my collection, but <laughs> after seeing the price, yeah, I might skip it. So, Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. This is the alternate full art from Unbroken Bonds. So, we go back three months was 107 and it's now 151 big big climber it is the most expensive card in the set overtaken the reshiram and charizard from unbroken bonds this is a beautiful card i absolutely love it sylveon's one of my favorite pokemon right i would like to have this in my collection i ain't paying that price unbroken bond booster boxes i mean what are they like 500 they're getting expensive right for 500 they're going up in price along with this card we go back six months i mean 80 to 150 it's basically doubled in the past six months go back a year and it's over double the price so this card is absolutely crazy we've been seeing that with a lot of sun and moon era sets as we just saw with the lily so yeah big big card coming out of unbroken bonds yeah and another big card misty's favor this is from unified minds one of my favorite all-time sets i'm looking 174 dollars it was 101 three months ago it's gone up over 70 percent in three months <laughs> 
just crazy. Now, the Mewtwo and the Mew were, you know, big hitters. But yeah, Misty's favor just absolutely skyrocketed. So we look at six months. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You know, 87. Bang. 174. I don't even know what's going on. I just think this is absolutely crazy. So yeah, really cool. Go back a year. Again, didn't really do much for the longest time. So around that 80 to, you know, under $100. And then recently, you know, like I say, over the past three months, that waifu is in it. Waifu tax coming in real strong. The Misty Air Unified Minds. Okay, now we've got a card that's been falling. We have the Charizard Alt Art from Brilliant Stars. Amazing card. But it has been falling, guys. Three months ago, it was 185 and it is now sitting under 150. It's been falling over here. You know, over in the UK, I've been seeing people sell this for less and less as time goes on. I think the average price here maybe is anywhere between 100 to 120. Obviously, condition depending. We go back six months and it was around $200 and it's been falling ever since. I thought this was going to do way better than it has. I really, really did think that this card would do way better than expected. I, I think this was going to be up there. You know, the fact this is way less than the Blaziken now is pretty insane. It's pretty insane. So Brilliant Stars, you know, there are a lot of talks about potential reprints and restocks of this happening. We're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to see what happens to uh, good old Charizard. Brilliant artwork, though. Absolutely amazing. Another big climb up. We have the Giratina V O art coming in. This is... <laughs> very very expensive 330 dollars uh you know three months ago it was 260 262 you know, big heavy climber this is the second most expensive card in the sword and shield era and it's so difficult to pull never pulled it opened up a ton of lost origin and this is just the real deal right we go back six months this card going from 230 up to 330 you know jumped a hundred dollars uh, in the past six months this is absolutely bonkers. I mean, at the rate it's going, in all seriousness, I wouldn't be surprised if we see this card break 400 by the end of the year. I think it'll break 400. It'll break past 400, probably, but I think 400 is a, is a safe bet for where this card will go. But don't forget, Lost Origin isn't exactly that old. And again, similar to uh, Brilliant Stars, there's actually talks of some restocks coming of Lost Origin, especially over here in the UK. We've been getting lots and lots. We get more and more booster boxes coming out, and apparently there's more coming. It'll be really interesting to see how things go uh, regarding this Giratina. But because it's so hard to pull, then I think it's going to maintain its value, even if more product hits the shelves. Okay, speaking of Giratinas, we've got one that has fallen, and it is the one from Crown Zenith. And Crown Zenith singles have been falling across the board. They really have. Some have been pretty steady, but the big top cards, are the Gold V-Stars and the Mewtwo V-Star, they have been falling. More and more Crown Zenith is here in the shelves. You know, we've been getting so many releases. Don't forget, this set did come out over four or five months with the ETBs, mini tins, Larian bird tins, collection boxes, you name it. And we've still got more coming. We've got more coming in May. So there's been a ton of Crown Zenith. It doesn't take away from the fact that it is a amazing set. Great to open. But I think the card will continue to drop. I think it will with more and more product in the shelves. You know, over here in the UK, Crown Zenith is pretty easy, easy availability, you know, to pick up. But let's have a look. So we're looking at $97 has now dropped below 100 over the past three months. It has basically dropped by 50% which is huge um we go back six months and yeah you know it reaches big peak and it has dropped so i think it'll continue i think it will probably reach maybe 80 i think i think it'll probably drop to around 80 dollars we'll have to wait and see it'll take a lot of time for this card to bounce back same with all the other big top cards from this set they've all dropped um some like i say some have held but i do expect this card to drop over here in the uk you can pick this up for around 80 quite comfortably around 80 pounds so it's interesting to see what's going on with this giratina but like i say crown zenith is becoming easier and easier to get hold of but speaking of a card that isn't easy to get hold of of course we've got to take a look at the umbreon and it's keep going it is an absolute warrior 652 dollars this is just oh, it just blows my mind three months ago we're looking at 480 do i feel like this will reach over 700 by the end of the year absolutely i mean we go back a month right we go back a month it was 586 so it's gone by 70 dollars in the past month alone okay let's say it continues at this rate let's say it continues at say 50 dollars a month at this rate probably gain another 400 dollars at this rate if it gained 50 dollars every single month that's over a grand that's over a thousand dollars for this card by the end of the year do i think that's going to be realistic probably not but i do expect this to probably break 800 maybe <laughs> this is just going to be absolutely crazy this is going to be a card down the line that you know people could talk about in the future you know people talked about in, you know in the past you know these big charizards and big pulls that you can get from these older sets umbreon is going to be 
a modern classic. It really, really is. So I'm happy <laughs> that I have one in a PSA 10, but this is a gorgeous card. And, you know, Evolving Skies booster boxes are getting really, really expensive. You're looking at around $400 to, you know, over here in the UK, you're looking around about $380, $370, 380 a box. So it is getting really, really expensive. It's now getting to the point where an Umbreon is going to be the value of two booster boxes. Now, would I say pick up? I would say, yeah, I would say pick up an Umbreon rather than cracking two booster boxes. Absolutely, absolutely. This is actually outpacing the booster boxes. So booster boxes have been quite steady. Umbreon is, is, is going crazy. So... I would say go for the Umbreon if you can get one in a good quality. I know it's a lot of money uh, to buy it just for a single card, but let's be honest, you're opening up Evolving Skies for the chance for this card, and it is just better off for the, in the long run to just buy the card than to try and crack packs. So uh, yeah, big heavy climber. I can't believe it's gaining you know around fifty to seventy dollars per month at the moment. So oh baby, this is crazy. So there you have it, guys. Those are some climbers, and there have been some ones that have fallen. I mean, the Charizard OR from Brilliant Stars is falling from grace you know i actually thought you know way back when when it came out that this would be the second most expensive card of the umbreon i thought it'd actually be going head to head but it just hasn't giratina however is like yo hold my beer i'm gonna be the second most expensive card in the sword and shield era but a lot of sun and moon era cards are going up in price across the board as we've seen from the misty's favor and of course the guard of one the sylveon and there's been cards in team up i mean they've been going up in price as well but yeah, I mean, Sun and Moon era sets have been rising, you know, wherever it's boosted the boxes, but the single cards have been climbing like absolutely crazy. Gold and Violet, I expect more prices to drop across the board as more product is getting hit in the markets, and it will. You know, I, I expect this to be the case. You know, Pokemon are going to be on it now, from now on, that they're going to make sure that there is a ton of product available for every single set. We saw it with Crown Zenith, and we continue to see it with Crown Zenith, and now we've seen it with Scarlet and Violet. I expect they're going to try and crack down and they're going to try and keep up with having supply to meet demand. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Even though MSRP is going up, you know, with the booster boxes, prices rising, you know, single car prices dropping, it'll be interesting to see. We're going to have to see how Paldera evolved does when that comes out with the single cards in that set because there's some big cards coming in that set. I'll tell you that right now. There's some big money cards going to be hitting that set. But we're going to have to wait and see. If you want to know how all these Fusion Strike cards that have appeared out of nowhere, affected your collection then make sure to click on this video right here and if you want more Pokemon content guys of course make sure to hit that subscribe button all right guys that's it from me in this video thank you all so much for watching as always you guys are legends and i'll see you in the next one